And since leaving Instacart a few months ago, the most common question that I receive is, do I regret leaving Instacart? Well, my lovelies, we're going to talk about that. Now, for those that do not know, my name is Ash, and I'm a gig worker here in the South Shore of Montreal, Quebec. And currently, I work for Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Skip the Dishes, and previously, I used to work for Instacart. Now, the reason why I left Instacart is because they had a new Canadian TOS, so a Canadian Terms of Services, that I had to sign. And within their terms of services, they were saying that we could no longer disclose certain things amongst their application to the public. And I didn't find that fair. There's a lot of dirtiness that Instacart does that I want to share with the public. And that's not to get negativity that sells here on YouTube. It's because the truth needs to be said about these companies. But then additionally, they disclosed inside their TOS that if I signed for it, I could not act on a group class action lawsuit. Now, surprise, surprise, if most of us are going to do a class action lawsuit, we're going to do it as a group. So that, to me, felt like stupidity on Instacart's part to even ask for that. So I never signed the TOS. Now, when I go into their app, the only thing it shows me is just to sign the TOS. I can't bypass it. I can't do anything about it. So before leaving Instacart, I batch recorded tutorials and any other videos that I needed to do before I knew that they would kick me off their app. Now, do I regret leaving Instacart? Oh, no. No, I do not. Instacart is one of the cheapest platforms there is. So it doesn't matter to me if I go without them because I wasn't making money off of them. I have made far much more money off of Instacart just because my YouTube videos alone than what I would for anything else. The number one thing that Instacart was doing that was pissing me off around the clock was jipping out of the referral friends and not providing batch heavy pay credits. So for the referral friend program, what they were doing is let's say you use my referral code on December the 7th. I would get the notification on December the 7th that you use my referral code. And then you typically would have 30 days to complete the amount of batches required. And I had to do the same thing prior batches. So if I already had the batches done, they were already done. But you, as the new Instacart shopper, had to complete it. Now, what was happening is they would show the 30-day, the timestamp. So in this case, let's say January the 7th or the 6th, depending on how many days are in the month. But what was happening is about three weeks after that original timestamp, it would show that yours is expired. So that shopper has not even had 30 days to do the shopping, but you immediately declare that they have expired, which means I no longer have a chance at getting the referral credit, but neither does that individual. And that to me is a scam right there from Instacart. The other thing that they were doing is not paying shoppers for heavy pay batches. So at one point it was $8 per batch or $10 per batch. Then it was $5 per batch. Then you had the contact just to get $5 per batch and then it was zero. And all of this was based on the weight of 50 pounds or more. Now they barely even give a decent base fare offer and it's all customers tips just to go and get groceries. Meanwhile, I can do Uber Eats shop and pay orders and make a lot more money because they have better incentives. And now Uber Eats also includes heavy pay towards their shop and pay orders, at least that I've noticed recently on shop and pay orders themselves, which makes it a better incentive for us drivers. So do I miss doing Instacart batches? 100% no, I do not regret skipping out on Instacart. I'm happy that I did because I've been able to provide content even to this day based on Instacart to bring up more awareness. So if ever you're considering leaving Instacart and you want somebody's POV point of view on whether or not to quit, I would say definitely if they're not making you money and wasting your time, you should quit them just like I did. And I'll catch you lovelies in the next video.